Hello everyone, Ian here, and welcome to the Fungi channel. For today's video, I wanted to share some legendary items I found last week. Each of these items I'll be showcasing are all tied to gig jobs, which I know for some players you may or may not did already. And it's okay if you did. Just know that these legendaries will be there if you decide to do another playthrough of Cyberpunk, or maybe you just did the mission and forgot the item. Either way, for me, I started my third character just by doing the main story missions and leveling up as fast as I can before doing any gig or side jobs. I know, I'm weird. But since I went this route, I was able to search for items that had a chance to become legendary, giving me a bigger variety of clothing I can wear, which in return, giving me the opportunity to show you guys what I found. And I see this as a win-win. And to be honest, there's really nothing to do right now in Cyberpunk 2077, and I'm actually running out of missions to do, which is, like, not cool. However, there's still legendaries to get, so let me show you what I found. We're gonna start off by getting these legendary shoes, which you can find these shoes by selecting the gig job called Tiger and Vulture, which will be located in Charter Hill in Westbrook. And you can fast travel to Longshore South if you're in a hurry. When you get to this door, you'll be greeted by a bouncer, which will have some dialogue choices for you to make. And since my character is a slick talking corporal lady, I was able to talk my way in without having to pay the entrance fee. But it's totally up to you on how you want to enter the club, just go ahead and make a choice and proceed forward. Keep walking until you get to this door, which is the entrance of the club. Walk inside, and instead of going right, make a left to this door, which you'll need Tech Ability 11 to unlock. Open the door, and you will see the box holding the item, and if it's not showing a legendary, go ahead and re-roll until that item becomes one. And once you see that legendary icon, go ahead and pick up the comfy formal pumps with metal inserts. These roll with three mod slots, which was the max that you can have on legendary shoes. Take the shoes, search and find for the Vortex chip to complete the mission. Up next, we're going to want to make our way to the gig job called Big Pete's Got Big Problems, which will be located in the outskirts of Night City, and you can set a waypoint so you won't get lost. Or you can fast travel to Auto Works just to speed things up. Once you get to this location, you can go ahead and tackle this mission however you would like. I went with guns blazing because sometimes, you know, it kind of does get a little boring trying to Metal Gear Solid every mission you do. Plus I like testing out new guns without having to worry about the cops spawning magically behind me. Anyhow, make your way into this garage and find this door that leads to the basement. Head down the stairs and open the door into the room which will be holding the legendary Sandy BOA Shock Absorbent Headband. I got 3 mod slots on my first try which is perfect so I didn't have to spend a billion hours trying to re-roll it. Pick up the headband and complete the mission. And this is what the headband looks like. Next, we're gonna have to make our way to this location. Now, I definitely know that most people have done this mission before or already, okay? Trust me, I know. But I was curious and I saved this mission just to see if I can pull a legendary from it. And I did. I got two of them, actually. And this mission is a Delamain mission, a gig job called Tune Up, which is located in Vista Del Rey in Haywood. And you can fast travel to Delamain's headquarters, which is the same building. With this mission, it will have you talk to Delamain, which will he will give you additional job to do, and also a tour of his establishment. Delamain will have you follow a little mini drone with a happy face on it. And once you go to the back door, instead of making a left, make a right and you'll see another door, which you will need Force 10 to unlock. Once you get the door open, there will be two boxes, both with legendary items in them. But for some reason, the little red icons weren't showing above the boxes, but hopefully it does for you. For the first item, it'll be the Ultra Light Shine Spectrum Trench Coat. And for the second box, it'll have the Powder Pink Skirt with Dura Hybrid Weaves, which both can turn into legendaries if they're not legendaries already. I re-rolled three times for the trench coat and I just went ahead and got the three mod slot version of it and for the pink skirt I had to re-roll again once again and I just ended up getting two mod slots for that one. It's not bad for me since I'm not going to be maxing out those pieces of clothing anyway so it's fine by me. And this is what both the trench coat and pink skirt look like. The next legendary, we're going to have to make our way to the gig job called On a Tight Leash, which will be waiting for you at Wellsprings in Haywood. And you can fast travel to Mega Building H2 to speed things up. 
Now forgive me since I don't have much footage on this mission, but I believe in you guys. Go ahead and play through the mission and when you get to this room, you'll see the box holding the legendary Neo Kitsch Passion Papora Polymid Full Top. I had to re-roll this item more than like 10 times to get this to become legendary, which is probably the reason why I don't have much footage, I just probably got frustrated and just left so, <laughs> my bad. But this is what the full top looks like. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the five legendary items I currently found in Cyberpunk 2077. And I don't know guys, I'm running out of missions to do on my third character. And sure, I still have a few main missions to do and maybe like even some side jobs, but I think I'm good. And starting a fourth character doesn't seem worth to me at the moment. So I sure hope CD Projekt Red has some type of update coming soon. Maybe even like a DLC, I don't know. But what I do know is, I need something to play. And what do you guys think about that new game called Outriders that's coming out next month? Have you guys played the demo? Let me know what you think about that game in the comments. I'm actually really curious to play it and try it out. If that's something that you guys can get down with, then I'll give it a shot. But that's going to be it for me guys. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please consider giving a like. Subscribe to the channel so you can join the fun guy journey. And stay positive out there. And until next time, peace out.